What's the fire? Or I guess it was a fire truck. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a video about lip products. I was not meant to do this, but then I filmed my 2017 makeup empties and then I realized I have only used up two lipsticks. I'm going to do the lip service project pan with the Pantastic Ladies. We're like 400 members on our Facebook group. That is insane. So if you're not a member already or if you haven't heard about us, we are a massive project panel group on Facebook, Instagram and here on YouTube who have joined together and doing a lot, a lot of project pans together. Again, I just realized I need to do some sort of project pan with my lip products because I just need to move them out. So some of these products you would have seen before if you are not already following my channel because three of them I'm already working on in other projects so they will probably go faster than the other products in this project. So that means also that the other products might end up in other projects and some of them is only going to be in this project. So I hope you get what I mean. But uh, yeah, that is like my idea. So my goal is to finish 18 because it's 2018, so why not? I have chosen like 17 and then I just thought you add in one more and then it is 18 and 18 and then we're just calling it lip service because it's more fun to do it as a collab. I have my markings here of my products and I will of course insert a close up over here while I talk about the products because that is just the easiest way and then and therefore I'm not going to break anything. So here we are. <laughs> For lip balms I want to finish these three. I know I said in my 2017 makeup empties I want to finish more than three but that is because I have chosen my Nuke's lip balm which is pretty pretty full um, and that takes a long time to go through so this is like counting for like two lip... So this is like counting for two lip balms kind of because it's all the way up to here and it ends here and you don't need a lot. So. That is my first item. Then we have my Nuori lip treatment. This guy right here. And I'm down to here, so I will go ahead and mark this after this video. But I will really enjoy this and I think this can live on my night table and be used like that. All my lip balms is going to live on my night table because I use it morning and night. So the last lip balm is my Benefit Posey Balm. I'm panning this at the moment. It's not going to stay here for long. I don't have a lot left either. And I will show you here where I am at the moment. And then we have some lip liners and I have five from W7 and then one from eBay, a bunch I bought off eBay. I know, but these go very, very fast and uh, they are not completely full, all of them. This goes pretty slowly, so that's kind of why I have only one of these and five of these. <laughs> these are my all-time favorite lip liners. I do have a bunch, but I use them and I love them so much. Let's just start off with the eBay one. It is a brown nude lip liner that I can use underneath any lipstick. So this is like number 27. I will insert swatches as well, but here it is. The first lip twist that we have from W7 is the one in pink and I'll insert the picture as well. So, but this is almost full. I have used this like three or four times, I think. So it is pretty full. And then we have two of the here. <laughs> then we have two of the very nude shade and one of them I am panning. One of them is completely new and the one is half full. And then we have a lip twister in nude. I panned one of these in my budget beauties if you have followed that collab. This is completely full. <laughs> I've used it once. The last one is a red lip liner and I have used this like... Oh, oh my god, I think it's broken. Kind of. Oh well. Um, I have used this like four or five times. This will go with a red lipstick that I want to finish for the year because I have a goal of using uh, one red lipstick every year, kind of. I have one actual lip gloss and this is the Maybelline New York Color Elixir Lip Lacquer in 400 Alloying Curl. It has this beautiful orange color and I really, really enjoy using this. I just need to get rid of it because 
I don't love lip gloss, but I like this one. So it will not be a pain to go through this one. And I think it can go pretty quickly when I commit to it, I think. There's five milliliters in this one, so I don't think that is a lot. We have two crayons, and the first one is a Max Factor Color Elixir Giant Pen Stick. This is kind of a lip gloss in a pen, because it's very, very soft and kind of sheer. Uh, at least this color. I have a red one too, and that is very pigmented. But this coral shade is very, very pretty, and I really, really love it. I just need to use it more, and it is getting old. And uh, because it's so soft and kind of like a lip gloss, I'm going to reapply it a lot. I can go... Where did I come from? I don't know. But this is going to be very easy to go through because I need to reapply it a lot because it's soft. And I need to sharpen it with a sharpener and I don't like that. So. And then we have my Mimi Lip Lip Glide in Playful Peach. If you have followed along my subscription box splits, you would know that I have tried to pan this last year. And I have like used half of it up already, so it's not going to be a lot of product that is left. This is a very, very pretty coral shade, but you can put a lip liner underneath and then it will be a nude color. I don't love it because it kind of separates my lips. You can kind of see a sharp line. It doesn't blend into the lip that much. I really want this gone and this is very, very soft as well. So I think I can go through this a lot when I commit to it. And because I can make it a nude color, it will go fast. So you will see the kind of theme here, nude and kind of coral that can be like a pop of color, so yeah. <laughs> then I have my two e.l.f. lipsticks. The one you have seen a lot is my e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in Wink Pink. I'm panning this at the moment in my 8 by Women's Day project pan with a bunch of ladies. It is also the shade I have on uh, on top of the very nude lip liner from W7 and I'm also panning in a project. So this is getting used right now and here is where I am. You can see it is a very very pretty pink nude color and I love it so much and I'm so happy to be working on it because I have really missed my lipsticks last year because I, I didn't focus on something I truly loved. The next one is my e.l.f. lipstick in Fairy Fuchsia. I can't remember the line. I, I believe it is the mineralized mineral line. But this is a more coral nude shade. So this is going to be very, very good for every day as well. So I'm very, very excited to be working on these lipsticks because they are one of my faves, but I haven't given them that much love since I bought them. Then we have my Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick in Tantalizing Taupe. And this is the perfect nude color without it being like a concealer lip color. This is so great and I am so excited that I bought this for my best friend because then I was just like, I need to own it too. So this is a few years old and I really need to use it up but I also really want to use it up because I love it. I'm not going to be sick of it, you know. Then I have two lipsticks from Max. Max. Then I have two lipsticks from Max Factor and these are one of my favorite formulas of a lipstick because it's so creamy but it holds up okay and it is so comfortable on the lips. So the first one is in Stardust Pink and it is from the line Color Elixir, I believe. This is not wood panning. I'm so excited. But this is a very, very pretty color, and when I bought it, it was like the perfect nude pink for me. Now it is a bit too light, but when I put a, like a lip liner underneath, it is going to be really, really good. And I can't wait to use this more. This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. And I have the red lipstick of the year. It is my Scarlet Ghost lipstick. This is almost brand new. I have used this a lot actually but it is a red lipstick and you don't go through red lipsticks that often but this is one of my favorite li red lipsticks and again i can't wait to work on it the last lipstick is a mini it is from the MTK revolution lipstick line that i have heard is discontinued and some prefer it much more than the vice lipsticks but this is the shade uh, Jilded, i believe it's called this is the perfect dark berry pink lip. It is amazing all year round and it's more pink than a berry shade. 
but I thought it would be so much fun to wear and it is a mini lipstick so I think I can go through it and it is a very very creamy formula at least this one that is everything for this video I hope you enjoyed this extra video because it is an extra video because I didn't think I was going to make it but we are and this is a full year project pan if I didn't say that in the beginning so wish me luck I need a lot because I'm not very good at going through lipstick but I'm going to give this a shot um, so I hope you will follow along and uh, hopefully I will not fail <laughs> if you're doing something like this please let me know down below in the comments and yeah please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already I have a lot going on and I'm so excited for the new year I have a lot of videos planned for you guys but if you have any video request or if you want to see something from me please let me know and i will see you guys next time in another video bye guys